magnetic field and magnetic field lines. A magnet only attracts the substances which have the metals iron, nickel or cobalt in them. Magnets are of two different kinds. Natural magnets and artificial magnets. The natural magnets possess the ore magnetite in them. They are weak and often irregular in shape. When a natural magnet is rubbed against an iron or steel bar, the same property of attraction is communicated to these bars. These are then called artificial magnets. Around every magnet, there is a space in which the force of attraction or repulsion due to the magnet can be detected. This space is called the magnetic field. Let us see how the magnetic field around a magnet can be detected with the help of a simple activity. Let us place a magnet on a cardboard sheet. Now uniformly sprinkle some iron filings over it. Did you see the iron filings arranging themselves in a definite pattern? Wow! Isn't it amazing? This is because each piece of iron filings becomes a small magnet and experiences a force in a certain direction in the space around the magnet. These curved parts along which the iron filings arrange themselves due to the force acting on them in the magnetic field of the bar magnet are called the magnetic field lines. If the position of the magnet is changed, the arrangement of the iron filings also changes. Magnetic field and magnetic field lines. You would be amazed to know that the magnetic field around a magnet can also be traced using a compass. Wow! Let us see how. First, fix a paper sheet on a drawing board by using brass pins and then place the compass needle near the north pole of the magnet. Now, observe the south pole of the needle pointing towards the north pole of the magnet and the north pole of the compass directing away from the north pole of the magnet. Then, mark the position of the two ends of the needle. Now, move the needle to a new position such that its south pole occupies the position previously occupied by its north pole. In this way, proceed step by step till you reach the south pole of the magnet. And then, join the points marked on the paper by a smooth curve which represents a field line. Repeat the procedure for drawing many lines like this one. These lines that we have obtained represent the magnetic field. An arrow mark pointing from the North Pole to the South Pole indicates the direction of each magnetic field line. Let us now discuss the various properties of magnetic field lines. A magnetic field line has both direction and magnitude and is thus a vector quantity. Outside a magnet, magnetic field lines are directed from the North Pole to the South Pole. They are closed and continuous curves. The magnetic field lines are crowded near the poles and far apart near the center, thus imparting a stronger magnetic field at the poles as compared to the center where the magnetic field is weak. 
the field lines never intersect each other because it would imply two directions of magnetic field at that point which is impossible parallel and equidistant field lines represent a uniform magnetic field magnetic field due to a straight current carrying conductor when a current is passed through a straight conductor the magnetic needle placed parallel to this shows deflection this is because a magnetic field is produced around a current carrying conductor this magnetic field can be traced with the help of iron fillings and a small compass needle take a thick conductor copper wire xy and pass it through the center o of the thick cardboard connect the ends of the conductor to the terminals of a battery through a rheostat a key and ammeter a so that the current flows from y to x sprinkle some iron fillings uniformly on the cardboard so that the current flows through the wire gently tap the cardboard a few times we observe that the iron fillings arrange themselves in concentric circles around o these concentric circles represent the magnetic field lines Now place the compass needle at any point over the circles and observe the direction of the needle. The direction of the north pole of the compass needle would give the direction of the field lines produced by the electric current through the straight wire. When we change the direction of the current in the copper wire, the direction in the compass needle placed at a given point also changes. increase the current in the copper wire the deflection in the compass needle also increases this indicates that the magnitude of the magnetic field produced at a given point increases as the current through the wire increases but as we move the compass needle away from the conductor the magnitude of the magnetic field decreases direction of magnetic field right hand thumb rule to find the direction of magnetic field due to a straight current carrying conductor we use the right hand thumb rule the rule states if a conductor carrying current is held in the right hand such that the thumb is pointed in the direction of the current then the direction in which your fingers encircle the wire gives the direction of the magnetic lines of force around the wire the rule is also called maxwell's corkscrew rule suppose current through a horizontal power line flows in east to west the direction of the magnetic field at a point directly above the wire is from south to north but the direction below the wire is from north to south magnetic field due to a current through a circular loop after orsted's discovery of magnetic effect of current carrying wire ampere found that a loop of wire also had a magnetic field in order to find the magnetic field due to a current carrying circular coil The coil is held in a vertical plane and is made to pass through a smooth cardboard at points A and B in such a way that the center of the coil lies above the cardboard. A current is passed through the coil and iron fillings are sprinkled on the cardboard. These iron fillings arrange themselves in a specific pattern in circular and concentric rings. 
The direction of the field lines can be found by applying right hand thumb rule. At the center of the circular loop, the arcs of the big circles appear as straight lines. The magnetic field at the center of the coil can be taken to be uniform and also maximum. As the two semicircular segments of the coil through A and B assist each other. Magnetic field due to a current carrying solenoid. An insulated copper wire wrapped on a non-conducting cylindrical tube. For example plastic such that its length is much greater than its diameter is called a solenoid. This is the pattern of the magnetic lines around a current carrying solenoid. If you compare the pattern of the fields so formed with magnetic field around a bar magnet, you will find them quite similar. In fact, one end of the solenoid behaves as magnetic north pole while the other behaves as south pole. The field lines inside the solenoid are in the form of parallel straight lines. This indicates that the magnetic field is the same at all points inside the solenoid. That is, the field is uniform inside the solenoid.